Have you ever used very old computers or seen them in movies and noticed that green is a common reoccurring element? The matrix-like text and the circuit boards are both a shade of green, which were arguably one of the most recognizable features of computers at the time, and have cemented themselves in mainstream media for that era. Even today, if you were to have someone picture a circuit board or a microchip, they most likely pictured it being green. But those striking green elements aren't so much the case anymore nowadays. So why was green mainly used in the first place? And why did we stop using it? Well, back in the early days of the black and white TV, those televisions worked by having a cathode ray tube, or CRT. This was a long vacuum tube that used electromagnets to shoot multiple beams of electrons onto a phosphorescent screen to illuminate certain pixels. These pixels would make up the larger images that were displayed on the screen. The pixels of the screen were made up of many small phosphors. Those phosphors used at the time for mainstream televisions only displayed a black and white image. When personal computers started to be used more often, a TV could be used to display the text. However, these original screens weren't ideal for text, because as the electron beam from the CRT moved across the screen, those black and white phosphors would flicker slightly, which wasn't so much a problem for low-res moving images like in video, but would be very noticeable and distracting for stationary text. Switching to green phosphors solved this problem because the different silicate materials that made up those phosphors would not flicker as fast or be as noticeable, making it much easier in the eyes for reading text. Other phosphors would be available in different colors, but would not be as easily seen on the screen as green text, and users would have to turn up the brightness to see it better, which would contribute to eye strain. So the green phosphors became the most popular for the time until the CRT technology improved, leading to better pixel technology that allowed for more color options. The color green was also studied by neurologists and psychologists and found to have a soothing effect on the brain, and can reduce fatigue when looking at them for a long time. This was also one of the reasons why circuit boards, or PCBs of the time following, were also primarily green. The factory workers that inspected the boards would be easily able to see the circuit paths on these boards, and would have the least amount of eye strain when looking at the green dyed boards. Other colors were also available at the time, however circuit paths on the boards would be less visible, and for the production line would require an entirely separate resin casting station, making the process of having multiple color options more expensive. So having green PCBs were not only more soothing on the eyes for workers, it was more cost-effective for companies and consumers. 